It Girl Friday here, and today's video is gonna be talking about the super popular dating app, Tinder! Although originally most commonly used to find hookups in one night stands, Tinder is now a super popular platform for those looking to find true love. Aww. Now in my opinion, I you think- You can't find love on a dating app. Grandma, I'm filming. Out of all things, a dating app? In my day, you needed to meet people in person. <laughs> Anyway, in the spirit of true love, I decided to pick up a bottle of Love Noir. And since I'm single, I'll be drinking it by myself. Although, it's not drinking alone if your cat's home. Cheers. Here's the thing. You dudes have no idea what we as females have to see. I'm talking dick pictures, married men looking to cheat on their wives. You know, we've also got the standard profiles. The dudes who love fishing. I get it, you like to fish. Then we've got the bros who are obsessed with their rides. Like, all right, you got a nice car. Then you get the guys who actually know what they're doing with their profile. Posting photos of pets. Oh, oh. Always a good option. I love it. Yes, give me more. I will swipe right on you just so I can pet your puppy, okay? But today, today I am bringing in a group of my male friends so they can get the female perspective on what it's like to be on Tinder. I've taken screenshots of a handful of the most ridiculous profiles I've come across, and I'm gonna show them to each of my friends to get their reactions. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, Dave, Alex. All right, Jeff. Do you have a Tinder account, or have you ever used one in the past? Yes, I have. I have had a Tinder, yes. I did, and then I got banned. Have you ever had to come across nude photos or anything super crazy? No, not really. Not really. Sunflower pics. Every other profile, some girl is in a sunflower field. No nudity or anything. I've, I've never even seen, like, a boob. Profile. Are these all going to be guy They're profile? All guy, every oh, single geez, one. You're getting, what you're I, getting... I, I wasn't, I was not told about this before I came in here. It's Mr. Naked Pinocchio. Dude with his penis out. He goes from like four different shades of colors. Uh, this is utterly bizarre. I love the three girls in the background that are trying to get as far away from him as possible. That's not real. Looks like he took a sock, filled it up with something, and was just like, hey ladies. If it's real, you just show it, right? Like if you're gonna be that, ballsy about it. That's not real. So that's a, a doctored dick. <laughs> I'm married, just looking for a little extra fun. Message me for a pic. It says, shh, tattooed on the finger, like. That looks like it's stock photo. I should just do this for a LinkedIn picture. Stock photography, not real. Who wants to hire me? Uh, that's adultery. Why don't you just put the pic on your profile? He's 67 miles away. That's a little far for me to, to go to get whatever this person is offering. Hey, no one's gonna drive 67 miles for your old ass. It's female lips, unless he's going for a female to female thing. Well, I guess that could be guy lips. Shame on these men. Okay, more dicks. This is just a movie cover, it's not his dick. That's a, a penis video game? DVD with a dick on it. There's a special place for tall women in this world and it's right on my face. That's humans. It's not disgusting. Oh, I, I, I get it. You want her to like just sit on your face. Well, that's pretty crude. It's very crass humor. This guy didn't grow up in the church. I'm more curious about this penis video game because... I think it's porn. Yeah, that's a pass. That's another left swipe. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's, it's porn. They're 11 miles away. That's not far enough. This one simply is a picture of an egg. Uh, it's an egg. Just collecting data, how would you like your eggs? I would legitimately think this is a marketing student doing a real poll. Well, that's a pretty open-ended question. I swiped right on that one. I just got out of marketing school and it might do something like that. Apparently the egg's 27 years old. I mean, that's always a good year for eggs. I get this probably like some form of humor. I would just swipe right on that because who doesn't like eggs? Everyone eats eggs usually unless I don't know, do vegans not eat eggs? I'm not sure. I like my eggs, well, quickly done. Over easy. Sunny side up. With a little bit of pepper. A little bit runny. Want to just douse it with hot sauce. A lot runny, sorry, I make no apologies. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, more ass. Ugh. 
That's butt cheek. This is a picture of a guy with underwear climbing up his butt cheeks. Looking at some dude that's wanting to get pegged. Um, Looking for a girl to help me in pegging me for the first time. Just seeing if any girl will help me. Well, how do you know you're a peg then? You don't know that. Doesn't have the greatest ass, you know. You could probably tone that up a little bit if he wants to get more hits. You cannot call yourself a peg if you've never been pegged. I'm just a little more confused. The I've never heard of pegging before. It's a bum thing. It's a bum thing. I didn't get that one. <laughs> There's some weird shit out there. I've just never seen that word uh, used that way. I'm moving on. Next one. Jesus. Ah, oh, okay. Uh. People actually put this on on uh, Tinder. Yes. This is expected. Yeah, that that that's a dick. I knew what I was getting into. Looks like he's got gland issues with his penis. It's like using a serious angle there. His nipples look weird. That's a technique people use. It says just looking for a friend. Just looking for a friend. What? Come on, why? You can look for a friend without posting a picture of a dick on Tinder. If you just went to a bar and just whipped out your dick like that, I don't really think you're gonna find any. Try and make friends with people. The normal way. Maybe four inches, five inches. It could be eight inches. I have no idea. It's definitely not in good taste. Now, ladies, just don't do it. That guy's doing steroids. That's the first thing that comes to mind. This dude's got chiseled abs. I have been strength training for 15 years, and I do not look like that. He's bored. I can tell. It says bored. He looks bored. He's jacking off. Oh, he's whacking off. Or his dick is so big, it is in the picture, unless he does something about it. Maybe he, he hasn't figured out how to actually work that special part of the male body. Come on. He's jacking off all over the place. It's cute. He's got a baby deer just chilling in his bedroom. You think this person is nice? Like the male Snow White? All right, all right. They have a sentimental side. It's so utterly cute. I can't see any woman not swiping right on this one. They like soft things, and people that like soft things are nice. Now swipe to the next picture, which is the exact same person. Oh, God, not the hunters. Yes, we get it. He's killed the deer. That's the same person from the same profile. And this is <laughs> fucked up in its own way. Honestly, a little sadistic. He, he killed Bambi's dead. Borderline maybe murdering somebody in this county in the next six weeks. That's just awful. Run away. You wouldn't like keep a cat and then hunt wild feral cats. Ah oh, man, dude, you're the root of all evil. Oh my lord, he has like an essay for a bio. This is so homoerotic hope. What's going on, sexy ladies? Have you ever fantasized or been curious about two guys at once? Maybe it's your inner true freaky side telling you to get active like a star. Whatever your fantasy spelled wrong is we promise that and much more. Dude, all I have to do is add a comma that drives me nuts. You should have put the comma from the first sentence there. Could you imagine two experienced brothers with the hands and tongues. Oh fuck! Ah! That's disgusting! With their hand. Okay, you used the wrong there. Ugh. My brother and I? Well, this guy's never been laid. All over your body. That is incest. Hope is on some shit. Well, ladies, my brother and I are at your service. This guy is ridiculous. Warning, we are true freaks. Ladies, don't do it. These two Lannisters don't even know how to spell. I don't know why I'm being subjected to this. Do you see that on Tinder, two sisters wanting to have sex with someone? If I did, I would have swiped right a long, long time ago in praying. <laughs> <laughs> I may as well get right to the point. Fuck. Ladies, I'm married. This person should uh, rethink their life. That is not proper punctuation. Another one of these people that don't know how to use commas. I'm sure that this offends most of you. Then why would you say it? I'm hoping to find that small percent. Oh, why didn't you just not say it? I think we should all aspire to be somewhat gentlemanly. I hope he's happy. I hope his wife's happy too. I didn't expect to see this. You got some interesting profiles. I, to begin, had no faith in the male gender, so. Posting a picture of your nutsack is not where I would have gone. Dudes are weird, and they're kind of dumb. Why? Just, why? And there you have it. Stop posting dick pics, but stick with the pictures of puppies. That works in your favor. This has been It Girl Friday. Peace out! My hair look like this the whole time? If you saw me on Tinder, would you swipe right? Who the fuck matches somebody 30 kilometers away? I saw you on Tinder. Who the fuck has their Tinder set the metric units? I definitely swiped right. I want to know who that person is. I love hot sauce. Here, kitty, kitty. Tabasco, Franks. I really need to get a life. Crystal, uh, all kinds.